The combustion of propane occurs at 135 degrees Celsius and 1.13 atmospheres in a closed, flexible container. What is the total volume of all gases after 5.60 liters propane and 24.2 liters oxygen react to 100% completion at constant temperature and pressure? This is an ideal gas problem. However, we see that it is a reaction and quantitative analysis, and so we need to reach back into stoichiometry in order to solve it. But when we look at this question, notice that what you have is the volume of the reactants and not the mass, not the amount of moles, and that's what really makes this a gas law problem. So before we get into any of the balancing or any of the stoichiometry, we need to address the fact that Avogadro's law tells us that volume is directly proportional to the number of moles. And so what that means is, well, the short answer is you can just jump right ahead and run your stoichiometry in volume because the amount in liters is directly proportional to your mole amount. Therefore, your ratios will stay intact regardless of the fact that you're not doing that initial conversion into moles. And so I'm just going to run this entire problem in liters, but let me go ahead and just write out the coefficients here. It's a 5, 3, and a 4. And if you remember back from early stoichiometry days, what this, let's just look at this 5, what this 5 represents. In this case, because I'm running everything in volume, that means it's going to be 5 liters of oxygen per reaction. And let's just pick on this 4. What that means with this 4 is that I'm gaining 4 liters of water per reaction. Notice that water is in the gaseous state, um, so everything on our reactants and product side are in the gas state. So step one was to balance it. Step two is going to be to figure out what our limiting reagent is. And let's take a look at how I'm going to do this. So you have your propane. We have 5.60 liters. And our recipe for propane was one liter per reaction. And so how many reactions can I run? Well, quite simple here, 5.60 reactions. For our oxygen, we have 24.2 liters and it takes five liters per reaction. That's our recipe. And so what we can do with this amount of oxygen is run 4.84 reactions. And so if we analyze the numbers we got here, we definitely see that we can run plenty of reactions with the propane. That makes this in excess and our oxygen is gonna run out first because we can run the fewer amount of reactions so that makes this the limiting reagent. And so we're going to move on to step three, which is to solve for the amount of products that we can create with this 4.84 reactions. Let's start with carbon dioxide. And if we have 4.84 reactions that are possible, and each reaction gets us three liters of carbon dioxide per reaction, that's going to be equal to 14.52 liters. For our water, and this is going to be steam in this case, water in the gas phase, we have 4.84 reactions, and every reaction is going to get us 4 liters. Therefore, our output of water is going to be 19.36 liters. And what this is going to get us, if I added these together, is our volume of products. However, you want to really pay attention to what's being asked in this question. It's asking for the total volume of all gases. And so we need to be aware of the fact that when the propane was in excess, it's actually still in that reaction system. And so the way you calculate the excess is with a pretty simple formula that looks a lot like what we've done already. 
But I'm going to write here that the propane remaining is going to be equal to the 5.60 liters that I had in the very beginning minus the amount that was consumed. So the 4.84 reactions. And for every reaction, we consumed one liter. And that's going to be equal to 0 0.76 liters. To write this again a little bit generically so that you can solve this for other problems, what this represents is the volume initial minus the, in parentheses, volume consumed. And what you want to notice is that the volume consumed is the same sort of reaction as we did for the products created. And that's all going to be equal to the volume in excess. And so if I wanted to get to the actual answer, the total volume of all gases, I'm just going to add everything up. So the volume total is going to be equal to the 14.52 liters plus the 19 0.36 liters, and then the important amount of excess that we want to quantify, which is the 0 0.76 liters. And all those together are going to be equal to 34.64 liters. And that is our final answer.